Well, how do you do, folks? How are y'all doing today? I'm back once again with a, another DVD update. This is actually the same DVD update from earlier, and from what everybody told me, the sound cut out in the video, and I didn't know about it until I uploaded the video, because it, it worked okay on my computer, so I don't, I don't know what the hell happened. My sound got lost, I guess, when I uploaded it to YouTube. Ah, hell, I don't know. Yeah, that this damn webcam is possessed, but uh, this time I'm shooting with my microphone, so maybe the sound will be all right. It won't go out, and it'll be in sync with the video. If you know what I mean. But uh, anyway, I guess I'll redo my last video. Hope you're all ready for New Year's. Hostel Three, Hostel Part Three. This one's actually pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, it's not as great as Hostel 1 and 2, but it, it, it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty damn good. But uh, these guys, they are good. They go to Vegas, and um, they pick up these girls. Hot sexy girls, I might add. And uh, all hell breaks loose from there. And they start getting killed off. And all that, just like in the Hostel movies. These weren't as violent as Hostel 1 and 2. I think Hostel 2 is the most violent. Especially the part where the girls like getting a bloodbath. That was nasty. But uh, there, are, there is a couple of scenes in this one that are pretty nasty. Like the part where the guy is peeling the guy's face off. Well, that was pretty gross. And there's one part where this girl has like cockroaches all over. That could have been good, but the problem was the cockroaches look like shit. You could tell it was CGI, it just looked so damn fake. But uh, the ending was pretty good. I, I, I figured something was going to happen near the end. But uh, if you like the Hostel movies, check out Hostel 3. There are no uh, extras on the DVD. All you get is commentary, and that's it. But it's still it's a pretty good movie. You can get it at Walmart for like $15. Dangerous Ground with Ice Cube and Elizabeth Hurley. Oh my god, that Elizabeth Hurley is hot, hot, hot. Ooh, 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 she's sexy. Ooh, ooh. She's hot. That was actually the main reason I bought this movie, just for her. <laughs> well, not really. I liked the movie, sort of. But Ice Cube's not too great in this one. Basically, Searching for his brother in Africa or something. But there's a good little fight scene near the end. But I have to say, Bullet is a much better movie. Mickey Rourke, Tupac Shakur. Shakur, Shakur, Shakur. How the hell you say his name? He's been dead for a long time. I tell you, he's more famous now than he was when he was alive. It's true. He makes so much damn money now in his records and everything, in his movies. He is pretty damn famous now. But he's a good actor in this one. This is basically like a, a gangster movie. Mickey Rourke is out of prison and for uh, well, I don't want to spoil it. But just watch the movie. It's really good. It's it's a good it's a good gangster movie. His brother in the movie too. One of his brothers. He's got like two brothers. The guy that played in The Hills Have Eyes was named Ted Levine or something, and he played he played a good uh, crazy guy in the movie. He's like crazy going around the house. He's like. I was back in the Navy. I was in the war. Yeah, I was in the war, and I I did this, and uh, I gotta protect myself. Uh, can you order this for me, Mom? Like one part of the movie, he asked his mom to order him something. But uh, it's a good movie. I, I thought it was really good. This was only like four dollars at Walgreens. So that was a good deal. I got this one at Walgreens too. It was like four dollars. The King Kong Deluxe Extended Edition. Hey, this thing is loaded with extras. Look at all those extras back there. Look at all that. Look at all that. Well, you probably can't see it. But there are a lot of extras. I mean, a ton of extras on this DVD. I mean, good God. It'd take, it'd take me days to finish watching. I, I'm still on disc one. But there's all kind of extras and a lot of deleted scenes and all kind of good stuff. I think they released this on Blu-ray, too. I don't know. But uh, I like this one. I thought it was very good. Nice extras, too. I'm still working on watching all of them. Evil Aliens by uh, Jake West. If you haven't heard of him, you need to check out Doghouse. 
Pumpkin Head 3, Ashes to Ashes, and Pumpkin Head 4, Blood Feud. I think he directed those. I know he directed Pumpkin Head 3. I'm not sure about 4. But uh, he's a good director. He also did this other movie like Razor Blade Smile or something. Eh, it was alright. But this one's pretty good. I like this one. You got these killer aliens that are killing all these people. There's one part of like an alien sex and like, what the hell? The nerd guy's like having sex with the alien. That part was pretty funny, I'd say. It's pretty funny. But uh, it's pretty gory. It's pretty funny. And uh, definitely check it out if you like alien movies. And last but not least, this is a prequel, Final Destination 5. This was a very good prequel. has a lot of action, uh, good special effects. It's gory. has some nice death scenes. only bad thing I can say about this movie is the cover looks like shit. It looks like a bootleg. But other than that, it's a damn good movie. If you like Final Destination 1, 2, and 3, and THE Final Destination, you should enjoy Final Destination 5. The part where the girl's like getting her laser eye surgery done, that was pretty nasty. Ooh, that looked pretty damn real. And the part when the guy went to the spa and had all the little needles in him. Ooh. And I bet that hurt. I bet that hurt. But uh, those are my new DVDs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. A happy new year. Hope you all had a nice Christmas and a uh, happy 2012 to you. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>